guys welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for clicking on today's video so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do a everyday makeup but then also showing you a few tips on how to then transition it into an evening makeup i've got three looks to transition into an evening look so that will be a red lip a liquid eye line and also a dark smoky eye so i'm just going to show you the easy step by steps on how to do that first off we're going to obviously create our base so i've cleansed moisturized and all of that jazz but what i'm going to go in with first is i'm actually going to go in with number seven skin illuminator so this will help give your skin that nice radiant glow so you can pop this on before foundation or you can pop this in with the foundation just going to apply this with a foundation brush next what i'm going to go in with is foundation so the foundation i'm going to use is my trusty nars natural radiant longwear foundation and i use in the shade bg really need to clean the lid on that so i'm going to apply this so just a few pumps on the back of my hand and then i'm going to go in using the same effect oh, i can't speak today i'm going to go in with the same foundation brush i just used to apply the skin illuminator so what i do is i dot it around the skin just to sort of evenly distribute the foundation and then just really buff it in okay so i'm just going to go over with a damp beauty blender okay so next going with concealer so i'm using the lasting perfection collection 2000 16 hour wear concealer so just putting a small amount under the eye and i also put that at the side of my mouth and just across the t-zone Just lightly using my finger just to dab sort of the concealer in. That looks good to me, but my eyes are getting really bad, so hopefully it does. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in now and set it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So what I will do is just using a powder brush. I'm just going to tap up any sort of excess and then just dust across the face. It's going to add a bit of colour back to my face so you know I don't look like this. So I'm going to go in with bronzer next. So I'm going to go in with the Benefit Hula Caramel just here. Now starting just up at the cheekbones going into the temple, holding it very lightly and in circular motions. Okay, now I don't really contour to be fair, um, like as in cream contour or anything like that, but I do just go either side of my nose with the bronzer. Right, that's better. Don't look so in desperate need of sun. Okay, so just going in now with blusher. So I'm just using the Laura Mercier blusher in the shade Peach. So it's this gorgeous colour here. So again, applying it higher. Just to stick with that. And then very slightly at the end of the nose. Lovely. Okay, so next going in with highlighter. So I'm actually going to use again the Makeup Revolution um, range from Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is their collaboration with Disney. So it's Moonlight, Mischief and Madness. Um, and I do really like the, um, the shine this sort of gives. Like, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with that. I've actually been using this like daily, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I do find it's a nice highlight and you don't have to use a lot whatsoever. But look. <laughs> right, so highlighted done. Um, what I will do actually is I'm just going to put it just below the arch of my eyebrows. Just get a little bit of sunk sunk. Right, so what we're gonna do now, so remember this stage is very much every day at the moment. So I'm just gonna show you the colors that I use on my eyes for everyday makeup, whether it be, you know, 
going out for lunch, going to work, and so on. So I don't use really many shades at all. I always like to stick with the browns, like the nice warm colours. Um, obviously, depending on your skin tone, it's completely up to you. But I think I'm going to switch. I can't decide what palette to use. Hmm. I think I think I am leaning towards the Too Faced Natural Nudes palette. So I think we will go with this. So. Okay, so we're going to prep the eyes. So I'm going to use MAC Painter Lily. Just all over the lid. So I just use my finger to apply it. So this will just help your eyeshadow sit where it needs to. So I'm going to go in with the natural nudes like I just said. So I'm going to use the colours Swan and... Sh I can't say that. Seashell. <laughs> which are these two colours here. So I'm just going to mix them both together. So I'm just really wanting sort of a really neutral base. Okay. So next what I'm going to do... So I'm actually going to go in with, what number is this? This is the Deluxe Crease Brush by Makeup Revolution. So it just looks like this. So I use this a few different ways. So, oh, sorry, it's number 300. I use this a few different ways. I either use this to apply straight into the crease, which is what I'm about to do now, or I actually use it as a blending out brush. So it's personal preference, but I find it both ways really well. So what i'm going to do is because again this is daytime still we're still at daytime what i'm going to go in is i'm going to gradually build so i'm going to go in with nude and warm rose these two colors here so nude is your sort of basic beigey color there and then warm rose it's got like more of like a um rosy color but also like a purpley undertone so i'm just gonna mix both sorry i had to reposition the camera because my back was killing me so i'm just gonna go in like i said with the nude and the warm rose so it's on the products on the back of my brush so i'm just gonna go in here so just where your crease sits and i'm just literally can you see that i'm circular motioning circular motioning why did i say it's so funny um i'm just literally putting it into the crease can you see how it's just applied that that easily? So again, holding at the very end of your brush, you don't want to be holding it all the way up here because it will be too aggressive and you'll just be moving the product around. It won't be blending. So as I'm circular, oh, I know this is going to say, as I'm blending, as I'm blending, I'm blending out and up, out and up. So you just really want to get that nice defined sort of area. So I'm just going to go back in again, just with the nude this time so i'm just going to match up the other eye like so so really subtle but it's giving you something to work with during the day so that's just but i'm, I'm not stopping there guys that's just two colors you've used so if you're somebody that likes a really natural look you could leave it like this and then just add on a little bit of mascara and i'm just going to go slightly darker so i'm now going to go in with cocoa cocoa yeah cocoa here so just using the end again this is one of my urban decay brushes um, but i find them really handy so i'm just going to go in again with the crease and just really lightly just to define it ever so slightly just more can you see the difference? So then just going back on my first brush again, just going over just to circular motion, so blending. If you prefer, you can do this with cool tones, warm tones, any sort of preference, or even colours if you like a bit of a brighter eye for your everyday. <laughs> there we go. So normally what I like to do now is I like to go in with a highlighter, Something that's really going to sort of brighten up the Using eye. Sort of any glitters, shimmers, duochromes, metallic colours, and you're wanting to, you know, really make it pop. And if it's not really, if you're thinking, oh, it's not really coming out that well, dampen your brush. Now, I don't mean like dunk it in the water. I mean, literally get like a spritz bottle. If you've got any sort of setting spray or anything like that, um, just spritz it and the product will sit a lot better or use your finger. That's just subtly done. So we'll now just add some mascara. Guys, I've just realised my eyebrows aren't done so I look a little bit crazy. I'll do those in the next stage. Right, so just really lightly put that on. So again, looking very sort of 
there's definition there so it looks like you've got product on but it's nothing overwhelming so i'm just going to go in now and do my eyebrows so i'm going to quickly do that off camera and um, just because it might take me a little while <laughs> okay so that's my eyebrows put on and i've just added this really subtle sort of um lip color but it's really i really love these these are from Too faced um, and they're just like spongy can you see that at the top so it's just one of those prickly little ones um and the color is oh i don't know <laughs> i don't know what is that peach puff but i love these and they smell amazing um they're really hydrating as well so if you do have any so if, you, if you do have any if you do suffer with dry lips like i do um they're really nice just to add a bit of pop of color without drying your lips out especially in the winter i find them really handy so i just added a little bit of that so just really easy just goes on so not as intense as sort of a lipstick um but more intense than a lip gloss if that makes sense than a lip balm so you've just added that um so that's sort of like your so, I think I've put a little bit too much pink on now. Oh dear. Let me just. <laughs> so that's just sort of a very typical daytime look that I would wear. Um, so very, you know, you can tell that you've got something on, but it's nothing too drastic. So next what I'm going to be doing is doing a liquid eye line, which personally I think really transforms a look. It can go from anything very subtle to something good that's really sort of eye catching i always find that i really notice when people have got it on and i always find that i get quite a bit of compliments once i've got a defined eye line on um everyone's always like oh how do you get that how do you do that i love that i, I want to have that on so i really like this next step so please keep watching hello there right so i'm just gonna go in with my trusty soap and glory super cat eye line i really really like this i rave about this all the time so i'm just going to use a closer mirror just so i can sure get really defined so i've just brought you guys in closer just so that you can see a little bit better what i do is i sort of mark out just there so i'm like right okay that's where the end of my eyeline is going to be so that's where the really sharpest point is going to be so then what i do is i then bring it down almost create like a triangle shape if you can see and then what I do is I go start from the middle of the eye so basically in line with the pupil but I keep my eye open but looking down the whole time and then bringing it further in And then I've got a nice crisp line. So can you see sort of the difference? I always think it makes your eyes look bigger and it makes them just look more poppy. Poppy, <laughs> what was that? Um, but I just really like how defined it makes it. Um, and it just lifts it up a little bit, I always find. So obviously this is the daytime look without, just very simple, very easy. And then this is more defined. Just gonna go ahead and match up the other side okay so both eyes are done i really like them i always think it can really transform our whole look completely especially if you apply lashes i will be applying lashes at the end um but i'll do that with the finished sort of look so just imagine it for now I mentioned at the beginning of the video i was doing three different steps on how to sort of well not three different steps three different sort of looks that you could do just to transform your look from day to evening so one of them was being the red lipstick you have no idea how terrified i'm going to be doing recording this <laughs> because if you know you know that red lipstick can be an absolute pain in the you know what to correct so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using one of my trusty red lipsticks. I think I've said trusty about a million times in this video. But anyway, we're going to go with it. I'm going to use Illamasqua. So Illamasqua and this colour is Box. You'll be able to tell how, many, how much I've used it. And look at the colour on that. Now I realise I don't have the matching red liner anywhere i can't find it so i'm gonna have to use 
Oh, this is like an orangey red. Can you see? So I don't know how well this is gonna come out. So it could be that I then need to use the lipstick to create an eyeline, but obviously that will bleed and it won't be good. So let's hope for the best. So using Kiko 306. Yep, and this is the Comfort Lip Liner. I was holding my breath for a very long time. Also, we we'll totally ignore the fact that I have uh, the Too Faced lip colour still on my lips. We'll just ignore that. So, lip liner on. Very aware the two completely different shades of red. And they were just good. Like two completely different shades of red. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to go with the burgundy colour just so it doesn't give. the game back in the game <clears throat> as i was doing elamasca really so i'm just going to go in with a lip brush just to perfect any bits that are getting too close to the edge that i'm too scared to go to <laughs> with using the lipstick so there's liquid eyeliner with a red lip which i think always looks really sophisticated really classy going out so that's just another really quick way to change your makeup from day to evening really really simple and it's just using one extra product like pop it in your bag touch up your powder whack that on you're good to go okay so next up is smoky eye which is personally one of my favorites so what we will do is we'll stick with the same palette so we'll stick with the Too Faced the natural nudes so at the beginning we obviously started with swan and then i um, well mixed swan and seashell together which is these two colors and then we worked in with, with nude and warm rose now as we went into just to find the crease a little bit i used cocoa now what we're going to do is we're going to focus this side of the palette to really create that dark smoky eye i will go back in with my urban decay brush so the fan blendy side of the brush, I'd like to call it. So I'm just going to go in with Coca, Coca, Coco, whatever, this colour. <laughs> um, just tapping off the excess and just going back in the crease. So just starting to really gradually build that colour up. And I'm bringing it all the way across, across, <laughs> bringing it all the way across it around the socket. So this is all about creating depth and building those colours up. Socket. I don't know if any of you watched that Bly House thing. Me and Rich watched it and I won't spoil it for anybody that hasn't seen it. But I was really disappointed. <laughs> I love a horror film. So I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be so scared. Um because I had to tell, I tried watching Haunting on Hill House on my own and I had to turn it off because you know, she's over the bed, over that little, yeah, no, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So now what me and Rich are doing is we're actually watching Haunting of Hill House now after we've watched Bly House. So we're doing it the other way around, but we're only on like episode three, I think, um, after the kittens die, whatever. Um, we're at that part, so. We shall see if we prefer this one because I know everyone was saying how scary it was. So we shall see. So, just gone into the crease with that just to grab some depth to it. So now using my Shiramora blending brush so you can really build with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with truffle. Would help if you could see that. I'm now going to go in with truffle. <laughs> And then I'm just bringing it in very, very slightly. So now using the same brush, so remember we were using Coca. So I'm going to mix Coca and I'm also going to mix Maple, which is the warmer shade. But I'm going to bring it into the middle. So I'm just going to go in with my 
Mac. I couldn't find it then. My Mac. I think it's. Oh, I always forget. So I know I say I will remember this every single time, but I will find this out for you. I want to say it's like 217 or something or 237. I've had it for years. Anybody that has one of these brushes will know that you just. It's just one of your staples in your makeup bag. I'm just putting a little bit of cocoa on that just to help blend out the darker colour. You don't have to go as dark as this, I'm just showing you if you wanted to go this sort of dark, how you could do it basically. So I'm just using a another blending brush with nothing that's on it, just to really fan that out. So I think what I'm going to use is Sparkling Sand, which is this colour just here. That looks really nice together. I'm just going to bring you in a little bit just so you can see. So that's the shimmer added on to it. So you can see the different sort of depths to the eye. So I'll just... I'm just going to go ahead and match the other eye. Just bring that under. So that's like a really dramatic, dark, smoky eye. Um, obviously you can go as light, as dark as you want. That's how probably dark I would go. Um, and obviously you can blend out a little bit more and so on um so you could have this with the eye line without the eye line so i will add some lashes as well but what i wanted to show you is the sort of the lip that i would match with this so i'm actually going to use mac velvet teddy which is like a nice nudie color you can see and i'm just going to outline my lips with another kiko lip liner which is 301 which again is a nice nude so it matches quite nicely with the velvet teddy so i'll just quickly line my lips So just going in with a little lipstick. So that is the final finished look today, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, I really liked showing you sort of the different transitions um, from the different sort of looks um, and going step by step. So I really hope that this was helpful, especially to any newbie, new newbies and newbies out there um, to make up that are sort of stepping outside their comfort zone. I really hope you found this helpful. If you haven't already, guys, please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and I really do appreciate it. If you do have any recommendations, or sort of videos you'd like me to do then please do comment down below and um, I do read all of them so any recommendations are welcome but I really hope you enjoyed it but thank you again for stopping by and clicking on this video speak to you soon guys bye